This is the assembly guide for the Rolling Rambler. If you have the Surfer Girl, the Mighty Wheels, or the 12 volt Hummer, you can also use this guide. The assembly is exactly the same. So first thing we're gonna start off with is the rear axle assembly and the parts that you'll need to do that. First one is gonna be the rear axle. It is the long golden piece with the L-shaped bracket about three quarters of the way through. Next, you will need two hexagon lock nuts which are on the bottom right. In the middle, you will need two washers. On the top right, there are two white bushings. One side will be flat, the other side has grooves. And on the far left, you will see the lock nut tool. The last pieces you'll need for assembly. On the top, you'll see two wheels. The bottom left is going to be two wheel covers and bottom right will be two black axle sleeves. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and slide the rear axle all the way through the chassis. And that L-shaped bracket is going to perfectly align itself with the chassis. And the next thing you want to do is go ahead and put your gearbox motors onto the axle. Now, because of that bracket, you can't put it on from the inside, so you need to disconnect them and you will need to assemble them from the outside of the rear axle. And once you go ahead and do that, you want to go ahead and reconnect both of the motors back to the vehicle. And now we can actually finish the assembly for the rear axle. So, first thing is grab the black axle sleeves and they're an odd star shaped piece and you want to put them on first they will cut the gearbox perfectly from there you want to grab one of your wheels and if you take a look on one side it's perfectly flat and the other side has a star shape as well you want to make sure the star shape portion goes on the inside and it will lock in with the black axle sleeve and then from there you can move the gearbox now that you have both of those on, the next thing you want to do is grab the two white bushings and the groove portion is going to go on the inside and the flat portion will be flush with the wheel on the outside and you only need one of these on the outside of each of the back wheels. The next thing you want to grab is the two red wheel covers and you'll put this on the outside and rotate them and you'll hear it lock into place go ahead and grab both of those washers and you'll put this on the outside of each wheel cover and last will be the lock nuts and you can begin by just screwing them on with your fingers and then from there you can grab the lock nut tool and this is actually what will fix it into place and you want to go ahead and do this for the last piece also. And once you've done that, you've finished the rear axle and you can now move on to the front assembly. This is the front assembly for the Mighty Wheels, Rolling Rambler, Surfer Girl, and 12 volt Hummer. And as you can see, we have half of the front assembly already assembled. Uh, just go ahead and copy the steps on the other side and we're finished showing you how to assemble one end. And also we're going to attach the front axle, which is referred to as a steering arm, uh, to the front assembly so that way the vehicle can be steered. Uh, for the wheels itself, before you do that, you're going to need the following. Uh, two of the small metal washers, the large lock nut, uh, the smaller lock nut, which is referred to as part D, and also the screw, which is referred to as part B in your manual. Two white bushings, one red wheel cover, and also one wheel for each side. Before we assemble the wheels, we're just gonna go ahead and assemble the front axle. Half of it's already been done here. We're just gonna do this end. Normally when you buy the vehicle, this does not come already attached. So you wanna go ahead and insert the screw from the top. And you can hold the nut on the bottom and there is a hexagon insert underneath it. So you don't need a wrench or anything like that. It's gonna stay in place while you go ahead and screw the screw inside. And that's it, you're finished with that. And now you're able to steer the front axle once the steering wheel is installed. Okay, so next thing we wanna do is just go ahead and put on the wheels. 
First thing you want to start with is a metal washer. And then you want to go ahead and insert the wheel with the star shaped on the inside and two white bushings, one on the inside of the wheel and one on the outside. And remember the flat side of the wheel is going to be on the outside. And the next thing is just the wheel cover, which goes on the outside. And you'll twist it until it locks into place. Lastly is the washer and the lock nut. And once this is fastened, you finish the assembly for all four wheels and also the front assembly and front axle. I'm going to assemble the top of the Rolling Rambler, Surfer Girl, Mighty Wheels, and 12 volt Hummer. Um, so going ahead and looking at the parts that you're going to need. The only thing you need is three screws. And these three screws are referred to part A in your manual. And you will need a windshield, the seat, the back rest of the seat, and also the roll bars with headlights which go on the very back. And so we're just going to start with the windshield just to start from the front and go all the way to the back. Take a look at the front dashboard. There are inserts that you can put them in. You just go ahead and push it in until you hear it snap and it's fastened. From there you just want to make sure that the curved portion is curving outward towards the front of the vehicle and then we'll go ahead and move on to the seat. So grab the bottom portion of the seat with the seat belts. If you take a look there are three small holes. It's really hard to see but if you look in the middle of the screen it's on the left, the middle, and the top right. And that's going to align with the back portion of that seat so that way you can screw in the A screws. So one, two, and three in the far corner. We're just going to go ahead and wait while they take care of this. So the next portion comes as the backrest for the seat. There are no screws that are required for this one. You're just going to go ahead and look behind the seat into these two inserts and they will snap right into place. From there, the seat does not move. And last is the roll bar with headlights. And there are four holes in the back right by the seat. You're pretty much almost done with the assembly. The last portion is just the steering wheel. And all you'll need for this is the steering wheel and the lock nut and screw. If there's any confusion on which one you need, it already comes installed into the steering wheel. So just go ahead and pull that out. And then from there, walk over to the dashboard. And you'll see there's a white bushing with the silver steering shaft that sticks out. And there's a hole that's punctured all the way through. You want to go ahead and put the steering wheel over. Then you'll go ahead and insert the screw from one end and the lock nut on the other. If there's any confusion on which side is which, one steering wheel end has the circular portion. The other side has the hexagon shape for the lock nut. And that'll let you know which side you need to put on. And from this point, you finish the entire assembly for the Rolling Rambler. And the last part is just the decal stickers and you're set.